everybody, thank you so much for clicking on my video to watch. Today is my birthday, not when you're watching this, but when I'm filming this. So I thought I would do a little get ready with me. I love doing get ready with me on my birthday. I always get glammed up no matter if I'm staying at home or going out on my birthday. Today I'm staying home. We're doing PJs and Prosecco with my family. I'm in this satin set. It has little chocolate covered strawberries on them. It's so cute. Before we hop on into it, please don't forget to subscribe. Click that little bell beside the subscribe button. That way you guys get notified every time I upload a new video. Also be sure to like this video if you enjoy it. And if you'd like to know how I got this look and get ready with me, then please just keep watching. Okay, so we're very plain Jane today. I'm just using the plain wall as my background because I just felt like sitting on the floor being chill. I'm in my jammies, so I just want to be cozy. Also, my husband got me this fluffy blankie for my birthday. It's so soft and fluffy and beautiful. I love it. So I'm all cozied up in it. I've actually already done my hair off camera. I was gonna do it on camera, but it was just drying too fast. And so I didn't have enough time, but I want to show you guys what I've been doing for my hair. So I've been using this Miracle Worker wonderful thing. This is the Revlon hair styler. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll link it down below. But basically, it brushes, blow dries, and styles your hair all in one. So when I get out of the shower, I just use this to blow dry and it kind of gives me a little blowout and it makes my hair really soft and smooth because it's just brushing through every single time. And then I use a little bit of this. So I haven't put this in my hair yet just while it was damp, but I like to put this in my hair while it's damp, which is what you're supposed to do. But then also after I blow dry, I like to put a little bit more in just because my hair is really frizzy, dry. This is the Eva NYC 10 in 1 primer and it's a miracle worker. So I just spray a little bit on my hands and then I will just run it through my hair. I try to stay away from my roots since this is a hair oil. I don't want to make my roots greasy. So I do, I've got some barrettes in. Just keep the hair out of my face just since I have curtain bangs now. First thing I want to try is this. I've been wanting this for a really long time. My husband also got me this for my birthday. It's the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector and I got the shade Light to Medium. I hear that this is just amazing for correcting your dark circles and if you can see, I have those. So this is what the product looks like. I'm just gonna take some on my finger. What? Okay, it seriously does work. I didn't get it on the inner corners where I have a lot of blue discoloration, but I don't know if you can tell, but it definitely brightened up my under eyes. You can still kind of tell that I have under eye circles, but it really, diffuse them a lot because mine are really prominent so I really wanted something to go underneath my concealer because concealer just does not do enough for me even when I wear full coverage concealers you can still kind of see where my under eye bags are for foundation I'm using the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation super bougie for my birthday this one is in the shade 5.1 my fake tan has come off now so I feel like this will match me pretty good. I'm gonna take it on my Smashbox stippling brush. Foundation is so lightweight and it just makes you feel luxurious when you wear it. Okay, I'm gonna venture out into the Rare Beauty Concealer again. So far, I've used this two or three times with different foundations each time and I haven't liked it. I don't know why I'm using something that I haven't liked so far on my birthday. I'm staying home anyway, so it's not like it's a big deal. This one is in the shade 190 Warm. I am actually putting quite a lot on just because the past few times I've used it, it just wasn't enough. I'm just kind of really layering on. I know it's a lot, but what can you do? I'm gonna spray my sponge. I'm already liking it better from putting a lot on. I don't actually remember if I used it in combination with this foundation before, but I'm actually liking it this time. I'm gonna stick to my favorite cream contour. This one is the Fenty Beauty Mocha Match Stick, and I like to put a little drop of oil on it. This oil is the Pure Radiance Oil by True Botanicals. I'm just picking it up on an angle brush. Basically, I put it on my chin, and then I put it in the hollows of my cheeks, and push upwards onto my cheeks, wrapped around the temples. It's kind of everywhere I would normally bronze, I just don't put it all along my jawline. The powder I use is the Clean Professional Loose Powder by CoverGirl. I just like to bake with it. And then I wipe it off right away because I have dry skin. I don't like to leave it on too long. Okay, I like the concealer. I guess the trick is you just have to put a swack ton on. <laughs> For me anyway. Okay, now time for bronzer. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. It's in this little Christmas kit, but 
you can get it individually. I've been trying to use patting motions because that just works so much better for me because when I swirl it and kind of really work it into my skin, it will drag products around, stuff like that. But when I pat it, it's just really precise. and keeps my product looking nice and smooth. I've just contoured my nose, it's baking, and I'm gonna use my favorite blush. This one is the Kat Von D Everlasting Blush. It's in the shade Honeysuckle. Just perfect everyday, kind of nudey, peachy, neutral blush. Really, really need to clean my brushes. And for highlighter, I'm gonna use Benefit Cookie Highlighter. Okay, time for eyes. I have these two palettes here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them both, one or the other, but I have this one from Makeup Revolution times Soap, and it's got a bunch of neutrals in it. So I might go into this one for its neutrals, but it also has really pretty smooth shimmery shades. These shadows are really easy and really nice to work with. They're so buttery. And then I have this one from Wander Beauty. It's the Wander S Escape Palette. It's very pretty. The shades aren't as buttery as the Makeup Revolution palette, but these shimmery shades are just stunning and they really pop. So I think I'm gonna start off with the Wander palette and take the shade Nude Beach. It's a really nice neutral brown. It'll be perfect for my crease shade. Next, I'm gonna take this shade from the Makeup Revolution palette. I think I mentioned this before in one video, but basically this palette came with one of those clear sheets that tell you all the names that you put in the palette. And I said I was gonna lose it and I've lost it. So I don't know the shade name, but that's the one I'm gonna use. This is just gonna go on the outer corners of my eyes. What I like about this brush is it's a fluffy crease brush, but it has a little point at the tip. These brushes are good for being really precise with your shades, so it's really pressing the shadow into my crease, as well as bringing it around the corners of my eyes. I'm gonna take this shade called Moonlit, and I'm gonna start to apply it with my finger. I usually like to switch to a brush, but I start off with my finger usually when I use shimmery shades. Ooh, that shade's so pretty. And then I use a setting spray on a little flat brush and then I'll just go back over it with the same shade and I can kind of carve out the crease as well. Okay, now I'm going to take this deeper brown in the palette. I just on a little shader brush, I'm going to do a shadow eyeshadow wing. I'm going to start at the base of my upper lash line and then just flick it out into a wing. And then I'll keep adding more shadow as I go just till I get the color that I want. And I'll also drag it onto the rest of my upper lash line. Now just moving to a smaller crease brush, I'm going to blend the shade out. I'm gonna take the brown shade I used for my outer corner, run that along my lower lash line. And then pick up the shade I used for my wing, put it on the outer part of my lower lash line and connect it with the wing. Then there's this really pretty light champagne shade that I'm going to use for my inner corners and my brow bone. Then I'm going to just really quickly pop on the Cavan D Vegan Beauty False Lashes. These are in the style full. Actually before I do that I need to set my face. I'm going to use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. It's my favorite. Okay so I've just put on my lashes now to finish off I'm going to do my lips. So I'm gonna use this trio that I recently got. I haven't tried them yet. They are from Cab Cosmetics. All of these are in the shade Undress Me. Lip liner, lipstick, and gloss. So I'm gonna use them all. First, I'm gonna go in with the lip liner. I don't really do glossy lips anymore, so I thought, why not? Okay guys, that is it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually am gonna keep my hair in these little clips because I actually think it looks pretty cute. Don't forget to subscribe for you leave, like this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!